just like to say that these two palettes have made me so excited to play in makeup and also the other palettes I have picked up this month. Oh my goodness. And another quick little housekeeping note, I am working on the little clicking sound of my high powered lens. So that is the noise that you hear. And this video, I also try to use my mic that I used to use, but I don't think it helps the cause. So I am working on it. It is my lens and that is what helps me like zoom in and do the eye looks for you. Welcome on back to my channel. So like I just mentioned, I have an exciting video where I am playing with two out of the three palettes from the Odin's Eye Legendary Diversa Collection. So I have a Net Makeup's Corner Palette, which is the Giant Wolves Palette, and I also have Tina the Fancy Faces Palette, which is the Hummingbird Palette. But before I get started, if you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're an Odin but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy, and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ashley and her makeup and eyeshadow really is my jam but please just call me Ash or Ashley. Like I just mentioned before I have two palettes out of the Legendary Diversa collection by Odin's Eye. It actually features three creators from three different cultural backgrounds which is just simply amazing. The palette that I opted not to pick up is by Judy and she created the Red Dragon palette. Now I thought Judy's palette was really really gorgeous but I just had so so many of those red and bronzy tones I just couldn't justify picking up those that particular palette but I just thought that Tina and Annette's Makeup Corners palette was just so stunning. So first we're going to jump into Annette's Makeup Corners palette right here and it is the Giant Wolves palette and it is a gorgeous palette. This is the color story right here and it is just simply simply Stunning. In addition, I also have Tina's palette, which is the Hummingbird palette. And I just feel like we are on a journey to Jamaica. And look at this. I mean, these palettes, if this doesn't look like Annette's Makeup Corner and the Fancy Face, I don't even know what to tell you. And there's also 12 shadows in here. And then you also have a multi-chrome in all three of the palettes. I know I only have two here, but there is a multi-chrome in all three of the palettes. And then you also get a scarf. So the scarves actually represent each one of the creators and is the actual illustration on the front of the palette. So that is the one for Annette. And here is the one for the fancy face. I mean, they just spared no attention to detail when it came to creating these palettes for these creators. I mean, look, you got the purple hair for Tina, her hoop earrings that she always wears. I mean, it is just literally stunning. Each palette actually retails for $34. There are codes on for uh, Odin's Eye, but the codes do not work actually for this collection. And I just think that they did such a great job. I love how it looks like a little book. It's like a little storybook. I love how it's embossed and it's a texture feeling on the actual side of the palette. And I love how it look, just opens up like this and has a little mirror there. And I can take a leave the mirror, but I just think that it's aesthetically, it is, they are very, very cute palettes. So each of the palettes actually comes with a sleeve. And I love when palettes come with sleeves. I think that is so great. On the back of the sleeve, you do have the ingredients of the products. They are written in a metallic gold, so I can barely read them. <laughs> the palettes are actually cruelty-free, and they are good for 36 months once open, and the packaging is recyclable. Each palette, it has a net weight of 3 grams or 0 0.45 ounces. Now, Odin's Eye is actually a Swedish indie brand. So this released, I want to say, on September 20th, which was actually September 19th, my time, at around, I want to say, 5 o'clock CST. So I was able to get my hands on it very easily, had no problem checking out. And I got very fast shipping. And I want to say the shipping was actually free, which is a big deal when you're talking about shipping to the United States. And so I do appreciate that very much. Now, for as far as Tina, I just must mention this. Like, oh my goodness. 
so happy to see her have a collab. She is literally like one of the first YouTubers I ever started watching. I think I was Googling eyebrows and then another palette would be like the Urban Decay Smoky. And I just stumbled upon her and have been watching her ever since. She has literally sponsored so many purchases. <laughs> <laughs> that I've made prior to my YouTube days and after my YouTube days. She is one of the reasons why I use this Deluxe Crease Blending Brush by Real Techniques to blend out my eyeshadow primers because I was just like, Ooh, let me try it. She uses it in every video and I have multiples of these and yeah, my multiples are dirty. <laughs> so I am just so excited. And like I said, she has really just influenced me to start my channel because she was a woman in STEM and she, we we're about the same age. So I was just like, oh my gosh, like if she can do it, I can definitely do it. So I actually have five looks for you today. I am doing two looks with Tina's palette, two looks with Annette's palette. And then this look right here is a combination of both of the palettes together. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course, we're going to wrap up with some final thoughts at the very end of the looks. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I got my eyebrows filled in using my Goof Proof Pencil, shade 3.75 by Benefit Cosmetics. My eyelids are like really overly primed <laughs> using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in shade number two. I put out a little bit too much. That's what happened. Let's go ahead and get started. I am going to work with Tina's palette first because it's just, it's so cute. I mean, they both are. So I'm going to jump in first with the Hummingbird palette. Yeah. I don't want to slow down, I don't want to slow down, I don't want to slow down till I burn out. I just want to live fast, I don't want to look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go on chance and go on life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries. Friends. I just want to get high, I just want to get high, I just want to get higher. Sometimes people will try to hold you back from being who you want to. Don't be questioning why, do whatever feels right, find your passion and fight. Cause we only go on chance and go on life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries, let your problems go on. Burns out. I ain't ever gonna slow down Thinking about what you're gonna 
do now But we Only got one chance And got one life to live And it's do or die Gotta make it count So lose your worries Let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down I am back and these are the first two looks or yeah but the two looks that I am doing with the hummingbird palette oh my god like mm, I am obsessed and I even went as far as to add on my glamnetic lashes and eccentric and as you can see these lashes are blue and green so I am just really feeling like the hummingbird <laughs> right now I am just giving those vibes this look these two looks are they're they're out there it's a lot but you could definitely tone them down you don't have to go as bold you don't have to pull the crease up as far as I did but mm, I love both of these looks. The rest of my face details will be down in the comments. And let's go ahead and jump into Annette's palette and then I'll talk about both of the palettes after we do those two looks. But honey, first of all, do you see this eye? I mean. You special and she reckless. Mb, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of yeah, oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top alright, oh yeah I wanna know it tonight I wanna be the one to surprise you I wanna be the one that you call in Yes, I see you In a future with me I wanna meet you Love best friend and be family I'm the star in your dream Making wet dreams come true She know she bad, but I don't bad She a gun shot that blew my mind Now this dance I come by my side Everything is green over here Everything you want and think about Now I got your back all the way and everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of yeah, oh yeah. Like how you do it alright. Everything good alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top alright, oh yeah. I wanna know it tonight. I wanna be the one to surprise you. Wake you up in the morning. I wanna be the one that you call in. Cause I see you in the future with. She reckless And be you my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Alright mm. I'm back 
And this look is, both, <laughs> this look, both of these looks are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like, so stunning. Every, you, it's just so many color combinations. I think of, I'm like, where's the palette? <laughs> when I comes to this palette and even Tina's palette, I mean, this is so freaking pretty. I think that the only shade that is kind of mm, for me is the shade Antipode right here because I don't know, it's the lighter green and I have used this palette once before I wore it Friday, today's Monday. I wore it Friday to work and I just wore the three right here. And I think it's a tiny bit patchy. <sighs> I think it's a tiny bit patchy, but it's a beautiful color. This palette is stunning. Oh my gosh. Mm, this duochrome is giving me life. So what I want to do now, I want to combine both of the palettes together. So we'll come back one more look and then we'll talk about both of the palettes. Yeah, me sit down to the girl, my life be like, yo. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut. Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side, oh why? Sätt att du rör på det får mig och dör för det baby. För de här jadis, jadis, de vill ju bara dra ner oss. Men du är fett och vanlig, på det jag lägger av min tid och jag vill ha det, ha det. Du får mig känna safety, ni kan nog le det baby. Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig. So half and no go na 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 Ja, det är ja, det är De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger av min tid Jag vill ha det, ha det Du får mig känna safety Ni kan nog le det baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig Kommer aldrig känna så här för någon annan All right, I am back and this is the last look. So it is just the fifth and final look using both of the palettes. And my God, like, come on. They, they just really outdid themselves. Like these palettes are just so freaking gorgeous and the looks oh my gosh like amazingly beautiful i i a next color story was just so different it really intrigued me first go round but after playing with tina's palette oh my gosh i love the looks from tina's palette also i mean i knew i was but you know i just can't I mean, the looks that I got from this palette was gorgeous. So, All right, so let's go ahead and jump into both of these palettes. So first up, I'm gonna talk about Tina's palette, the Hummingbird palette. I think it's just absolutely stunning. When we look at the artwork, it just embodies the essence of the fancy face. I have been watching her forever, like I stated before. I mean, it looks just like her. The scarf that goes along with it is just beautiful. I, I mean, if I had like a whole makeup room, I would have this out so, you know, it can be seen, 
but it is just so gorgeous. I like how it is embossed. I like how it's textured on the palette. I like how it's kind of like a book and he's just kind of going on this journey to Jamaica with Tina. And when I look at the color story, like this color story just embodies her. I think it is just so beautifully done. The shimmers are beautiful. The matte choices are beautiful. The only matte choice I'm kind of like, mm, about would be the light blue. And it's called clear blue but it does work you can use it to blend out the shades like it's really pretty with the shade lagoon it's also pretty pretty with the shade star apple star apple does however remind me of a matte that's in the kaleidos palette with uh angelica Nikwis. but i love that shade red hills was actually really pretty blended out like a brick red kind of brownie in there so i think that you can kind of find that to use some neutral looks now i would say like the shimmers are really beautiful but because of the Odin's Eye formula I am familiar with Odin's Eye I haven't presented them on my channel before but I do have a couple of the palettes from the Norns collection and they have a stickier formula so you know going in with a brush and this holds true with a next palette actually going in with a brush like the refer 21 is really going to save the day you're going to need like a mixed medium brush with some synthetic fibers maybe some also uh natural fibers mixed in some type of concealer type of brush or maybe like a silicone applicator or just like your finger to really apply these shadows uh let's see here's an open silicone applicator this one is like a glitter applicator from Sephora and then this one right here is by Morphe that I haven't taken out of the plastic but this brush really just saves the day when it comes to packing on these shimmer shades now the shade fancy is so freaking gorgeous that is the dual chrome in this palette each of the palettes across the collection does have a dual chrome this is smooth baby I mean just smooth glides on like butter I didn't find that I needed to use like any type of mix medium to keep it on the eye I didn't need to use any type of glitter glue and I was able to get it on with the brush pretty easily now I would say the shade hummingbird is a little bit more stickier a little bit more textured if you're familiar with sometimes like Huda Beauty shimmers but I wouldn't say I would say they're more impactful than Huda Beauty for sure but it has somewhat of that same type of sticky texture not so little chunky but not overly chunky but packs a lot of punch shimmer and pigment okay with these shimmers as you can see the shade swallowtail which is this orange shade it definitely did the best when i picked it up with my finger i was really in love with the shade lagoon oh my gosh it just came off like a beautiful ink blue and mixed in with the shade hummingbird it just it just did something really magical on the eyes of course with the shade fancy same with the shade blue fields i found that it was a little less chunkier Feathers is definitely less chunkier, smoother, and same with the shade Tropics. Hibiscus is really pretty. Um, it can be a little scary, but as you can see, I put it with the red tails and it just kind of gave it a little bit more pop. So it just depends on how you want to layer that shade. But overall, I found like the color story of this to be so beautifully done. Like she just did a really great job on picking out this color story. And uh, Odin's Eye always has a great formula anyway. So it's just knowing how to deal with the shadows that you are presented with. But I just think that this is just so gorgeous i'm so proud of dina like i have been watching her forever <sighs> like i said she has given me so much inspiration <laughs> to start my channel mm. so just so good i love it now the sh uh giant wolves palette and this is the one with annette's makeup corner this color story is to die for it's so deep it's grungy it has those pops of purples it has my little greens that i like and the dual crown shade is like come on like you can you see it i'm trying to see it can flip back in the monitor like oh my god gosh that is just so beautiful now i did find that the shade what was it haiti um that one you're definitely going to need to use it with your finger it's not going to pick up as much as like when you have the reference 21 with some of the other shades and 
it kind of probably stands out. Use a little mixing medium if you want to get more pigment out of it. It's more of a topper shade. But I felt like you get some very beautiful grungy mattes. I can see so many looks. I knew so many looks that I wanted to do with this palette when I saw it immediately. I like the shade Astro. Even though sometimes when you see these palettes, you're like, you always have these little dual chrome shift palettes. But as you can see, when I put on the inner corner here, it made that orange just pop even more. It went, went well with the shade Flare. When I wore these three shades to work, it was just a beautiful, cohesive look look um and i really also like the shade skull because it meshes well i think there's just so many different options when it comes to this palette as well as tina's that you can just do i like that there's even kind of like a black color in here to deepen it up i'm not always the biggest fan of blacks in a eyeshadow palette but as you see it's working it worked when i did the other look as well the only shade that i'm like and i kind of mentioned it before is the shade antipole which is this more grungier khaki green i think it's a little bit patchy now today i feel like it went on smoother because i had used my juvia's place primer the i prep i prime which is a more of emollient primer but um the other day when i went to work i used my urban decay primer potion in the shade caffeine which I use a lot and you know that's a more of a drier consistency and I got good pigmentation on it but I was just like it eh, seems a little patchy but the shade desolate oh, honey beautiful the shade howling is really gorgeous as well and then the shade ablaze is amazing as well so I do find with these both of these palettes that like you might be a little bit intimidated because there's not technically a transition shade even though both creators especially Annette and Tina have very bold makeup aesthetics um they kind of created like in Tina's palette when I know when I watched her video she was like the light blue shade the clear blue was made for more of a transition which I do think is true because you can blend out some of those deeper mattes with that particular shade versus in Annette's palette where you don't really have anything that's more of a transition. But Antipode, as you can see, can blend out pretty light. But then you also have this blue right here, which is the only like one of the only shades that I did not use, which was Azure. But I mean, at this point, if you are a makeup lover, even if you're not like a super collector like I am and you have a minimal collection, I think that everybody pretty much has a favorite transition shade that they can go in with to make the looks not as bold or to create it to your preference. I feel like it's not so much of a companion palette, but just, just maybe you could bring in that one shade. Or you just take your bronzer and just kind of throw it in the crease to help out the other shades so you don't have to go as bright with like the red. And you can use those other shades maybe in the crease where you feel more comfortable. But overall, like stunning, like excited about makeup. These palettes, oh my gosh, I was just like, yes, please give it to me. I need it. I can't wait until it comes home in my collection because they are just stunning. And not to say that Judy's palette wasn't stunning either, but I just felt like I have so many reds in my collection that I just couldn't really justify purchasing that palette. And I thought it was really beautiful, but you guys know me. If I, if I have just too much of a color um, story in my collection, I'm not always gonna purchase it. And I don't always purchase full collections. I purchase what really speaks to me out of a collection. So with all of that being said, I really, really enjoy these palettes. Uh, I have been having so much fun just kind of dipping into them and playing in it. I know I played in the next, I'm gonna play with some more with Tina's palette. And just let me know down below which look you love the best. Oh my gosh. The looks with the dual chromes from Tina and Annette's palette. So that was like the second look I did over here with Annette's palette. The first look I did over here with Tina's palette. Like. Mm. And then in my top two would be the looks that I did with Tina's palette, those first two looks, I love this look because it definitely lets you know like you can kind of get a little neutral action out of both of these palettes. So let me know down below what was your favorite look. Oh, so much fun playing with these. Like woke me right on up because I'm filming. It's like nine o'clock on a Monday night. I've been to work. I've ran errands and <laughs> gone to Costco. You know the drill, cleaned up, sat down and filmed, but oh, 
Mm, this refreshed me for sure. So let me know down below what was your favorite. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And also hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, it should be very, very soon. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is over here. We always end the video with a chat dance. Hey, chat dance. Hey, 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 chat dance. Mm, mm, chat dance. Mm. Mm, 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 mm,